What's the point? The point is that we're not purely mechanical beings. So, I mentioned before that I'm a Spanish TA, that means teaching assistant, and in my situation it specifically means that I have my own classrooms where I instruct students. Or, as my director states, I facilitate classrooms for the students. Whoa, what? A language teacher not teaching? What the heck are you talking about? Yeah, I've been trained as a language instructor under the teaching method called processing instruction. This is a teaching method developed by a huge name in second language acquisition, a field within linguistics. His name? Bill Van Patten. Currently a professor at Michigan State University, he's the founder of the entire field. Just see here what he has to say about it. I teach linguistics, and my specialty within linguistics is second language acquisition. I actually, the field I work in, input processing and second language research, is the field that I founded. VP, as my colleagues and I fondly refer to him, developed this really cool theory called input processing. To save you the heartache, it basically puts emphasis on the language that's going into the brain, and less emphasis on what's coming out. Practically, it looks a lot less like formal linguistic instruction, and a lot more like immersing a student in meaningful contexts, aka real life. VP used his theory of input processing to establish that teaching method that I mentioned earlier, processing instruction. Processing instruction in and of itself is a teaching method, and as of 2017, isn't really questionable anymore. The proof is there. It works. His theory on input processing hasn't been as strongly supported, but more and more hypotheses that are based on that theory are being supported. What I've done, with the help of my colleague, is develop a video game that looks even beyond processing instruction. We've taken a bet on what the field of second language acquisition is going to look like in 5 to 10 years, and we've made a game that relies on those theoretical points. We're calling it Glottiverse, and it's our idea to change the way that we learn language because, and this is the point, we aren't mechanical beings that can just internalize verb charts and flashcards and then pop those suckers out in full-on sentences. We actually need to incorporate language learning in meaningful ways. Making a video game combines the best of the real world and meshes it in with the best from the world of education to create a learning environment that has never been seen before. So, just to be clear, the point is that we're not mechanical beings. In Glottiverse, that's our push to help you realize your very non-mechanical abilities. Want to see more about VP? He runs a really cool podcast called Tea with BVP. It's pretty great, you should check it out. I've got a link below in the description. Want to hear more about Glottiverse? We're on Facebook! Follow and like us there to keep up to date with what's going on and where we're going. And, of course, subscribe to this channel to see as I share more about my ventures into language, entrepreneurship, and, well, game developing.